Hello, I'm Amy Rose. We will learn about how nuclear reactors work. Do you believe that conventional thermal power stations generate electricity by harnessing the thermal energy released from burning fossil fuels? Yes, it does. Nuclear reactors convert the energy released by controlled nuclear fission into thermal energy for further conversion to mechanical or electrical forms. There are two types of reaction of fissile atomic nucleus, nuclear fission, and nuclear fusion. This would help in better understanding the action of nucleus. In nuclear fission, or a radioactive decay process in which the nucleus of an atom splits into two or more smaller, lighter nuclei. For example, uranium-236 atom splits into krypton-92 atom and barium-141 atom. Other examples like plutonium-239 atom. To control such a nuclear chain reaction, neutron poisons and neutron moderators can change the portion of neutrons that will go on to cause more fission. Nuclear reactors generally have automatic and manual systems to shut the fission reaction down if monitoring detects unsafe conditions. On the other hand, nuclear fusion is a reaction in which two or more atomic nuclei are combined to form one or more different atomic nuclei and subatomic particles. For example, consider a sun, which is a main sequence star, this generates the energy by nuclear fusion of two hydrogen nuclei to form helium. In its core, the sun fuses 600 million metric tons of hydrogen each second. Now, watch the actions of neutrons in the core chamber. In case of uncontrolled chain reaction, this is the uranium nucleus, when the neutron bombards the nucleus, this splits into three neutrons and two protons, and again bombards the nucleus. The process is repeated after each step, which gets multiplied by itself, except for the protons. Thus, generating excessive heat, and soon, the nuclear reactor will violently explode, like an atomic bomb drop. To control such chain reaction, we need to place control rods inside the core chamber. This is safe for less heat. Next, we will show you a schematic diagram of nuclear reactor. In the first step, the core coolant liquid is heated by the radioactive fuel rods inside the reactor vessel. This very hot radioactive coolant is then pumped under very high pressure into the steam generator, where it travels through the inside of thousands of separate thin-walled steam generator tubes, which lowers the coolant's temperature before it is pumped back to the reactor to recirculate through the loop all over again. This forms a closed loop system, which contains the majority of the radioactivity of the nuclear power plant. In the secondary loop, water is now pumped into the lower portion of the steam generator, which then flows upward around the outside surfaces of all the very hot metallic tubes. These tubes, each about the diameter of a penny and not as thick as a dime, transfer their heat to the non-radioactive water or steam mixture turning it into almost pure steam. The steam then exits the top of the steam generator and is transferred by a pipe, called the main steam line, to spin the turbine. Turning the turbine cools the steam back into a water or steam mixture, which is further cooled and condensed with ocean water. The secondary loop water is pumped back to the steam generator to recirculate through the non-radioactive loop all over again. And we finally give you a brief history of nuclear power plant explosion. According to Chernobyl power plant explosion, in Ukraine, 1986. It is considered the worst nuclear disaster in history, and is one of only two nuclear energy disasters rated at 7 the maximum severity on the international nuclear event scale. About 49,000 people were evacuated from the area, primarily from Pripyat. The exclusion zone was later increased to 30 kilometers radius, when a further 68,000 people were evacuated from the wider area. The reactor explosion killed two of the reactor operating staff. They did not make official a figure of 4,000 deaths, as the total number of projected deaths caused by the accident over the long term, or injuring more than 200,000 people. Subscribe to see more related videos, see you then.